Hello folks, this is Jamil Sir for Gunstroke Reviews. We're here at C2 Tactical in Scottsdale, Arizona, our favorite indoor facility, with something new from Springfield Armory. Yeah, Springfield has something really new, and of course, it's a 1911. So, some people are gonna say, oh Lord, he's gonna talk about 1911s again, and some people, yay, he's gonna talk about 1911s again. Yeah, I love 1911s, and this one is the operator. This is the newest and greatest from Springfield Armory. Uh, it just came out today. If you're seeing this video today, it's just, just released. And what are the features in it? And we'll talk about what makes this pistol different from the current lineup and where it falls in the lineup, okay? First thing, it has a rail. So if you can see, it has a rail, pick rail, so you can actually add any accessories like uh, lights or lasers or any other accessory you want to add to it. Another thing, it is a bushing pistol, so it has a bushing barrel in it, unlike the previous TRP operator um, pistol that had a bull barrel on it. This one has a bushing barrel. Another thing, it has really good front and rear sights, and these are very high visibility sights. It has really good white dots in the rear, and a night sight up front, those things show up, and it, you know, you can see those things a mile away. And it has serrations in the back, so it cuts down on glare. The beaver tail in it is really, really nice and comfortable with a bump in it, so it helps you get that right grip on your pistol. Um, the mainspring housing has this, I have no way to describe the serrations on it, uh, but they're really cool, they're really comfortable, but they're really aggressive at the same time, so they'll give you something really cool. Going down on the, on the uh, grips, these grips are aggressive, but not nasty, okay? I've seen grips from other manufacturers that when you grab them, you are sure to bleed. This pistol has a clean front strap, so it does not have any checkering or texturing. That is gonna be left up to you. That is also one of the reasons this pistol is at the price range it is, right, right under the TRP series. The TRP is a higher, grade has a checkering on it, 20 line per inch checkering. The magwell on it, it doesn't have a, a external magwell, but the uh, opening is beveled to make your reloads easier. Okay, front and rear cocking serrations, of course. It has, okay, a, the standard um, three hole aluminum trigger. And of course it has really good, really cool scallops to help you reach that Mac release. So at, at times, some people have a real hard time getting that Mac release there. So having this scallop will help you reach that. It has ambidextrous um, thumb safeties. Some people like them, some people don't. So of course, if, you don't, if you're not an ambi thumb safety person, those are easy to change. Um, you can do one or many things, either remove the ambi part of it or get a single sided safety on it. So this is a really good feature, okay? And of course, this black Cerakote all over the pistol. So it'll keep it nice and dark and the Cerakote will hold your finish and after thousands of draws and presentations, your finish is not gonna wear. So, okay, now comes to the important part. We're gonna shoot it. So for this shoot, we're gonna use Federal uh, 230 grain Syntec ammunition. And for those who don't know this, Syntec ammunition is specifically designed with this coating on the bullet that will keep your barrel wear to a lesser amount and it also keep your t barrel temperatures lower so it will keep your barrel life longer. Okay, this 230 grain goes to about 830 feet per second with a 352 uh, foot-pounds of energy. I have to take my glasses off because this is too close for me. That's, that happens when you get old, okay? So let's go ahead and shoot a couple of Mac loads here. Uh, we're gonna shoot here a distance of about seven yards just to get used to the pistol, and then we might throw it a little longer and see how it goes. So let's go ahead and do it. Well, before we go, I forgot I need to put my ears on. Remember, before you shoot, ear protection, eye protection. Always check in the load and make ready uh, part of your shooting session, always eye protection, always hearing protection. You always have to be safe. So let's go ahead and try it.
I think it's a keeper. I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but I think I'm going to keep this one. Uh, I can't believe how accurate this pistol is. From the box, this is the first five round shot from this pistol. So, like always, you get a Springfield Armory, you're getting a really good pistol. Let's shoot five more rounds, and then we'll reload. We assess our target. We might paste it, and then we'll do some exercises. Yeah, I threw one to the left. That was me. But yes, yes, it's a keeper. This is a brand new pistol. Um, and what can I say? It's a Springfield Armory. The barrel fit is just fantastic. Accuracy is tremendous. So let's do some exercises. Let's do a couple of uh, hammer pairs, a couple of uh, headshots, uh, failure drill. Let me load up and we'll go ahead and do it again. Okay, I'm curious. I'm gonna do a couple of hammer pairs. What's a hammer pair? Hammer pair is what some people mistakenly call a double tap, but it's actually front sight, shot, shot, front sight. A control pair is front sight, shot, front sight, shot, front sight. So let's go ahead and do a hammer pair. I threw one very, very high. My second shot was just went high because I let go of the second shot way too high, way too early. So I threw one too low. So that's one of the when you're doing a hammer pair at this distance, you're a little bit too far away. But let's do a control pair. That's better. So let's go ahead and see if we can do a couple of more shots with it. I'm gonna go ahead and load some magazines and I'm gonna see if I can do a, a failure drill and I'll explain what that is in a second. And then for this last exercise, I'm gonna shoot up what is called a failure drill. What is it? It's what is mistakenly called the Mozambique. There's a long story behind it. If you wanna hear about the story of the Mozambique or the failure drill, there's a video in our channel that you can check out with Freddie Blish Well, he explains the whole history of it and how it became the failure drill. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a control pair to the uh, upper chest area and I'm gonna wait and do a very careful shot on the head. It's gonna be very careful and aimed. So let's go ahead and do it. and always assess. There's a two, re two reasons to do the assessment. Number one is to clear your, your uh, tunnel vision. When you're in a situation in which you need to shoot, you're under stress, you're gonna have tunnel vision. And number two is to verify that there's no more bad people coming at you, around you. So you assess by following your, you don't do this and you don't do this, you do this. You always keep your pistol down range Loaded, I just unloaded it here a second ago. So, and before you do a reload, whether it's a tactical reload or a, any other kind of reload that you need to do, always assess that there's no other bad people coming at you. So, my final thoughts on this pistol are, wow, this pistol is great. Um, it's a 1911. I love 1911s. One cannot have too many 1911s, okay? And for a while, I haven't seen a pistol that I love so much just the way it is. In a 1911 family, I tend to change things. I might change one or two things on it, and it's going to be pro most likely the important grip screws because I prefer uh, to have standard slotted uh, grip screws than Allen. Because one of the main reasons we told Marty and I, I talked about this before, is that we prefer the slotted uh, grip screws to the Allens because you can always find a screwdriver any place. You can always use a coin or something small like a dime or something to tighten up your grips. Sometimes not everybody has Allen screw, uh, hex heads with them. So that's um, one of the main reasons why I prefer these. But these are great. It feels really good. I love the, the fact that we, I'm gonna be able to put a light on it 
So in a future episode, we'll do an episode in low light with a flashlight on it and see how it performs. What do you guys think? So like always, guys, please remain healthy, stay safe, and have fun at the range. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our Patreon page at www.patreon.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.